that's it. We're live. <laughs> now everyone can, uh, can tune in. <laughs> so hi everyone, I'm here with Mariusz Monchak, famous violinist from Poland. And uh, we're preparing a concert next Thursday at the Polish Consulate in Montreal. And uh, we're going to play, some of the things we're going to play is uh, Szymanowski myths. Uh, there's actually, if you look at this book, you know, this is like a crazy book. Look at this. It's all torn up. This, this book belonged to Mariusz, and he gave this to me in, in Vienna a few years ago. Because he was always telling me, you have to learn the myths. You have to learn these pieces. These are really great pieces. <laughs> and uh, now we've played them a few times, yeah? We played yeah, them in, uh, yeah. We played them in Ottawa and in, uh, in uh, Romania as well last yeah. year. And, uh, and we're going to play these next week. But uh, today, we're going to play for you the first one, which is called The Fountain of Arethusa. And uh, maybe you want to say a few things about this. Uh, well, La Fontaine d'Arethus, you know. Well, it's Szymanowski is a very special uh, composer. You know, he's been, uh, you know, he died in 1937, um, let's say 82 years ago. But his uh, music is, you know, performed more and more in the world. I think because of, of its of its beauty and, and um, he wrote so much of you know good music, especially for violin and piano. I think, you know, I'm a violinist, which is like for me, you know, basically the the, the most important. But you know, he wrote also for piano, a lot of stuff, and for symphonies, and I mean, for, for orchestras as well, but uh, but these three myths are very special, um, because he was also interested in, um, you know, in ancient history and uh, art, he was traveling a lot uh, uh, in the Mediterranean area, like Sicily, Tunisia, uh, Greece, uh, Morocco, all this stuff, and then he kind of absorbed all those cultures and beauty of the, you know, of the, of the places, and I remember I told you about that we once uh, uh, we went also with Nadia and and and, and, and uh, you know we went to Sicily and right. down to Syracuse you know not the Syracuse USA but the the, 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 the real, real one the real one yeah <laughs> and then there is a La Fontaine d'Arethus there's really uh, the, 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 the across the to the um, to the seaside you know and um, well there was some bird, ducks you know swimming around and maybe it was not so poetic at the time but. But you know, but it's uh, there are certain places, and, and th th this is this piece is also very special for. It talks about. I mean, there are lots of different images, and you know, where you can images imagine whatever you want. But I think it's more or less about water, water and fire, maybe something like the different shadows of water, and and uh, and then. Um, and there's a story to this piece as well. Yeah, there's this uh, woman who is uh, going in the water, and then there's. Uh, what is it? Uh, what do you call this? Is, is, uh, is this uh, the one in the third one? This like half goat? Yeah, uh, yeah. Satyr. Pa 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 pan, yeah. Pan. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <clears throat> There's a three, three, three movements. The myths are have, they have they have three movements, right? And um, yeah, every every movement is, is different, but at the same time, it's it, it is a uh, like a suite, right? It's a one, two, three. It should be played uh, as one one suite, like a sonata. You know. There are some themes, some some images developed in the first movement, and then it goes to the second, and then the third one. But but very often, I mean, they're also sp uh, performed separately, right? It's also possible, um, you know, to do it uh, any, any any way you want it, right? But uh, yeah, you want to play your piece? All right, let, let's do it. I'm just gonna check on this. So hi to to everyone who's watching. We have, we have two people watching. Yeah. <laughs> hi, Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> so. Okay, and maybe, yeah, you know, so like the, the story behind this piece is, is this woman is here. This is what it, what it looks like. So you can see it. The thing oh, right oh, yeah. Isn't that cool? <laughs> <laughs> so this, this woman is um, being uh, pursued by this uh, satyr who, who wants to rape her. And she, she makes some, uh, does she make some deal? She gets turned into a fountain, right? This is the thing. She makes some... Yeah, yeah. Well, she's it's... like she makes some prayer, yeah, yeah for this yeah, to happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so here it is, the the myth number one by Shumanovsky. Okay.
Time. <laughs> not sure, not sure. <laughs> so that was Shumanovsky myth number one, Fountain of, of Arethusa. Hi, Robert. And uh, yeah, this is a very like magical kind of piece. Yeah, Robert, if, if you're if you're getting used to hearing Ravel, then 
uh, Shumanovsky is like another really cool step. It's kind of like a mix of Ravel and Scriabin somehow. Yeah. So, some, something like that. Or maybe just Shumanovsky. <clears throat> sounds like Shumanovsky. Yeah, sounds like Shumanovsky. <laughs> So well, that's it, guys. It's a re really short one, and uh, who knows? Maybe we'll play the second myth tomorrow. Who knows? We'll see. So uh, peace out, and take care, everyone. <laughs>